Hello everyone. So this is a general reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac. This reading today is, well tonight, is specifically about this full moon Pisces energy that's happening. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been really feeling this energy so strongly. And, I mean, I'm talking about attitudes, emotions rising to the surface. I'm talking about some deep relief energy. Like, it's powerful. And I feel it very strongly. And so, and I know so many of you are also feeling this energy. So, I wanted to do my own personal um, reading for all 12 signs. I actually have 12 cards here, ironically, because I wasn't even counting. So, <laughs> I have 12 powerful cards here. And it's all basically saying the same thing. It's basically all talking about epiphanies and healing the past. Um, it's talking about so much different energy right now. And it's like... Um, I feel like a lot of us are going to be going through this really amazing phase where things that once seemed like that we were okay with, we are actually letting some things go. And I don't, and this is probably why when I did a lot of the love focus and a lot of the career and life focus, it talked a lot about release. And so this month, dear love, the energy is so powerful. So I feel like for a lot of us, the changes that we will be experiencing are influenced by internal process. So we have been recognizing um, important truths and now a lot of us are questioning um, parts of our life. And now it's like, I feel like we're questioning parts of our life that we once took for granted. So a lot of us will be like reflecting on a past love or maybe an old job. You know, like we're going to be thinking about those things a lot, reflecting a lot. So I feel like we are at this place now We are where we are receiving some type of new insight, basically. And so, and I think that's what this Pisces energy is all about. It's very intuitive, you know. So it's like... This energy is making us reconsider our previous choices. What we once felt comfortable with now makes us uncomfortable. Um, this is about us speaking our truth. So I feel like this card right here, Realizations and Epiphanies, is very strong and it represents this Pisces energy so, like, it just represented it so well, you know? And it's like, I mean, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? I don't know, I feel, I see a lot of transformation here. And I, and again, I said a lot of these things during a lot of our love focus and our career and life focus. I talked a lot about transformation. And so, I feel like a lot of us receive this card because it's acknowledgement of this development. And it's also guidance to take our time in making life decisions and adjustments. A lot of us had a lot of changes recently with our home or with our job. Some of us, some of us have had such a crazy summer and it's like now this energy is causing us to just kind of calm down, be a bit more compassionate, not be so rowdy and not to, you know, it's kind of encouraging us not to be so impetuous, right? Not to be so impulsive. So... I feel like it's like we have these realizations that will help us make positive changes at a natural and healthy pace. So we no longer have to, you know, go into the rest of the year feeling so overwhelmed because we have gotten to the point of releasing a lot of this toxic energy, okay? Now, a lot of us, like I said, I see a lot of changes with maybe some relationships, maybe with family, with friends, or maybe a romantic partner. But there, I feel like there was, for some of us, not all of us, but just for some of us, right, 
there's like um it's like we may realize that we have less in common with a person or maybe we're grown apart but I feel like it's just because we are more sensitive. So we have sensitivity here. And again, this is all Pisces energy, okay? So we are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. So the best thing to do is to honor yourself and to honor your feelings, dear love, okay? Because you are more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. So maybe in the past you numbed your emotional awareness and now your feelings are awake. So again, I just feel like things are like coming to the surface, you know, all those built up emotions, things that you kind of just, I feel like things were happening and we just kind of stuffed those feelings down. Any type of feelings that we stuffed down and we didn't address it right away, this energy is causing us to bring those emotions to the surface. It's a lot of us who just... Maybe we had a breakup with somebody, and maybe you don't even realize why you and a person even broke up to begin with. And now it's like you're reflecting, saying, wait a minute, why did we break up? We were good together. We understood each other. Why did we break up, right? And so a lot of us are reaching out. You may hear it. I mean, if you're not reaching out, then somebody may definitely reach out to you during this time. Because, again, this energy is so sensitive, and it's causing everyone so it's causing everyone to tap into their emotional sense, okay? So I feel like this may also just be about moving a relationship into a healthier direction. So I feel like the most important relationship of all is with yourself. So you, basically we just need to be reminded to take care of ourselves. When we take care of ourselves and our feelings and our needs in the situations, we tend to feel so much better. Okay, so this, I feel like relationships as a whole does represent compromise, dear love. And so a lot of us are still working through that. A lot of us are feeling like a bit unsure. Like we're not sure if we should continue a relationship. We're not sure if we should stay at this job. A lot of us are making a decision to find another job. We want something more. We want to do more. We are realizing that. This is not what we want to be. And so, and, I, and that's what I love about this Pisces energy. So, shout out to you, Pisces, because this taught me so much more about you guys, that, of how compassionate you guys really are. And so, I love this energy. And, and I love it even more because it taught me a lot about myself as a person. And so, I'm hoping that the universe is blessing all of us with enough clarity to appreciate the art of allowing okay so the arts and I talked about this once before right that the art of allowing is I am that which I am and I am pleased and joyful in it and you are that which you are and while you are different from that which I am I can allow that for it is also good Right? So we are being a bit more compassionate. We are understanding that it's okay for others to be who they are. We are understanding that it is okay for us to be who we are. That we are different. That we are unique. That some of us are extra emotional than others. That some of us are extra more impulsive than others are. So I feel like we just need to do a kind of like some self review like some self inventory a life review take an inventory of our life resolving to change or heal anything that is unbalanced because we got healing from the past okay so a lot of us are feeling like we need closure now with that being said is this this Pisces full moon awakens our desire for closure okay on a much deep deeper level and a much soulful level so it's like this pisces is pisces is the last of the zodiac right so that is good that is transformations that is endings that is things coming to a complete end a complete ending relationships ending um toxic relationships ending people ending a job that no longer serves them people walking out on a job um this can even be ending a friendship. This can be 
you know, I feel like, and this is what I love about this Pisces full moon, and then we have that Virgo new moon coming, because that Virgo moon energy is going to allow us to refocus, right? And so this makes me appreciate the Pisces full moon, because it's allowing all of us to tap into what no longer serve us, to come to a understanding of what we need and what we desire and what our heart's true desire is it's all about us being true to who we are and with this healing from the past tells me that we definitely need to i feel like we just need that closure for a lot of us we are needing closure we need that just that one last conversation right or that you know that energy of I'm sorry that I hurt you, you did mean the world to me, I'm sorry I didn't give you a chance, or please forgive me for hurting you, you know, like those type of things, and it's like, or please, you know, or I do forgive you for you hurting me, right, I just feel like it's just releasing, letting it go, finally letting it go, starting over, right, and so that energy alone just makes me feel complete. Okay, I feel like we are letting go of this toxic energy and we are saying thank you universe for this wonderful experience because now I know who I am, now I know what I need, now I know what I desire, now I understand my friends, now I can understand my boyfriends, I never knew that he was this emotional, or now I understand my wife I never knew that she loved me that much. Or I didn't know that he cared. So I feel like this energy is just opening some doors for a lot of us. And even though it can represent a lot of endings, I see beginnings here. I see even though it's an ending to something, this can be also an ending to an old habit, an old way of being. Maybe um, and maybe you guys have always looked at things from, a, a, from your own perspective and maybe now you're deciding to do things another way. So, again, I just see new things happening with this release. Because in order to have these new beginnings, right, we have to release the old. But like I said, with Archangel Ezekiel here, it's talking about having compassion. So, sorting your heart with respect to the situation and all, the, all of the people involved. So, for those of you that are going through a court battle or maybe being sworn in maybe going through some type of legal challenges for some of you that are going through problems within your home maybe there's been some changes or some shifts um, regarding children for some of you for some of you I feel like in situations with your home deciding if you want to sell your home deciding if you want to build a new home Deciding if you want to move in with this person or not. Deciding if you want this new relationship or not. It's all about reflecting. It's all about paying attention to those different moon cycles. Okay, and so I love when Archangel Hanyel comes out. Because this, again, is encouraging us to pay attention to how we feel. To pay attention to our emotions. What's affecting us in this time. Notice how the moon affects your energy, dear love, and manifestations, and capitalize upon these cycles. So, really think about it. Like, how do I feel every time a full moon come around? Right? Am I emotional? Am I upbeat? Am I depressed? Am I sad? Like, begin to think about those things, because whatever the first few things that come to mind, it's probably the first few things that we need to focus on. Okay? And dear love, I love this because it's like I'm taking in all of this advice just as much as I'm providing it to you. So thank you, universe, for showing me what I needed to see. This is so informative, and I love this. Paying attention to our thoughts and our ideas that come to us because they are answered prayers. This is divine guidance. Some of you will be having these epiphanies, okay? Yes. It is time to put an end to all that no longer serves us, letting things naturally unfold. But also, this Pisces full moon has arrived, okay, in like perfect timing, right? And I say perfect timing because, like I said, with this Virgo new moon coming, 
we can rest assured that we're about to get down to business. Like, we're about to take care of some things. We're about to get serious about our love life. We're about to straighten up at work. We're about to start saving money. We're about to start investing in our businesses. Like, we are making some drastic changes as a universe. Okay? And so, I, again, I just love this type of energy. So, I feel like... This Pisces energy is offering us a one-way ticket out of our self-constructed laziness, right? Or our crazy towns or something. Like, we are just gathering our thoughts. And so, again, I just, even though it can represent an ending to something, I feel new beginning. I feel like this can, this is a cause of a celebration, right? So, some of us may have been having a quite crazy few days. But I told you guys that the first week of September was going to be bananas. And I'm just like you. I'm human. I'm sitting here waiting for all of this crazy energy to pass. Right? But I'm also very appreciative towards this energy because it's teaching us so much. It's teaching us so much and it's showing us what we need to do. It's showing us what we missed out on. It's showing us what we need to go back to. Right? So if you have not, if you have a certain passion and you have not been focusing on that passion, maybe it's time for you to get back into that, right? Or for some of you that have not been talking to an ex for a while, you may end up talking to that ex again only to simply say, I'm sorry, right? Or only to say, you know, I'm sorry things didn't work out between us, but I have moved on, I'm happily married, or I have a new person in my world because right here with relationship dynamics I feel that there is for some of us anyway well not us because I'm married but <laughs> for some of you guys I feel like this is a new person this is somebody new coming along and so I feel like this energy is preparing you to let go of this past so that way you can appreciate this new person in your life so this is beautiful. I just love this energy so much. Some of you are in denial though, okay? Like, can I just be real with you? Like, some of us, and I'm not going to say you guys, I'm going to say us, because I've had my moments, honey, okay? Some of us are in denial, okay? We are walking around here, ignoring our intuition, acting like everything is all good, right? And ignoring our intuition, and, and it just... The fact that we are doing that is not going to help us because this energy is calling for you to pay attention to your intuition. Those dreams that you do, like if you just randomly dreamt about somebody and you're like, why am I dreaming about them, right? You need to pay attention to that because that is uh, heavenly symbols. That is symbolic. Some things like that don't just happen just to happen, okay? We have a third eye chakra for a reason, okay? So we need to be very tapped and turned into our intuition, into our third eye chakra, into our um, gut feeling, okay? Pay attention to those visions, those dreams, symbolic dreams. Pay attention to the details, okay? Like I said, some of us may need to do that life review. Dear love, this is one of my favorite things that I say to people is that you are here to create the world around you that you choose, right? And so, while you allow the world, okay, as others choose it to be, to exist also, but while their choices in no way hinder your choices, your attention to their choices does affect your vibration. So even though, you know, even though they have an opinion of being a certain way or living their life a certain way, it may not affect us or affect our choices because we are all individuals and we all have our own ideas and opinions on how we feel about things. However, it can affect our vibration. So if, what, if you are in a relationship, dear love, that is not serving you well, you are not happy, you find yourself crying all the time or frustrated all the time, you need to check that. Checkmate, okay? You need to tap into your intuition, dear love, Something is rising up in your emotions that you need to set clear. I feel like some of us need to set the record straight. Uh-huh. Some of us are hearing a lot of, I feel like I see a lot of gossip, a lot of 
he say, she say, a lot of, um, just a lot of craziness happening, dear love. But I feel like with this energy happening, it's causing us to be a bit more compassionate instead of being irrational and crazy and ready to fight or curse someone out or, you know, I don't know. I just feel like we need to be a bit more compassionate, okay, because I see sentimental feelings here. So there's definitely some deep, sensitive, you know, feelings that came up to the surface, okay? Some of us recently just experienced something that we have not dealt with in a while, and we are dealing with it, okay? So again, this energy is all about just clearing our space, clearing our energy, getting rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, use feng shui. Okay, be happy, pay attention to those thoughts and ideas that come to you. This is a very spiritual month, dear love. So I highly encourage you guys to meditate more, to pray more, to fast. If you do not fast, I encourage you to fast this week. Because even after this full moon happened, we will still be feeling the residue, you know, of that full moon. And so we're still going to be working through these different emotions throughout the next week or so. So, just wait until about mid-September. Things will get better for all of us, dear love. So, that is all I really have, though, dear love. That is all I really have. And, again, I just feel like this is just... And I've been saying this really, like, even before September even happened. I said this in a lot of our love focus and career and life focus. That this month is all about our thoughts. Being careful of our thoughts and the things that we say and the things that we do, how we project into the universe. This is having compassion instead of judgment, choosing love over hate, okay? So that is my overall message for everyone, for all 12 signs. And like I said, it's just so ironic that, I don't know, my spirit just led me to just pluck my cards. And I did not count. I just kept going until my, my energy just said, stop. And ironically, I have 12 cards here. So, I, I, like I said, this energy is so strong. And I'm grateful to the universe for allowing me to do this tonight. Because I weren't sure if I was going to do this or not. And I'm just grateful that the energy is just so much better for me. So, I want to pray for all of us, okay? Because, like I said, my energy just been kind of shifty as well. So, I'm going to pray for all of us. So, I asked the universe to... Allow us to receive divine guidance. Allow us to be receptive to what's not being said. Uh-huh. And I would also like this reading to be easy for you guys to understand. And I hope that this reading was easy for me to provide. You know, I feel good, and I know that some of you may be a bit mellowed out right now, but I pray that the universe bless you intuitively. If you have always been afraid to use your intuition, dear love, I pray that the universe increase your intuition and allow you to be receptive and allow you to feel good, to find joy in your intuition, that you can find peace and love and harmony in your intuition that your angels are guiding you and walking you through the process talking with you speaking with you teaching you what to say encouraging you how to behave so remember dear love compassion over judgment choose love over hate that is the message for this week because like i said the first week of September was crazy, but even after this full moon, dear love, we're going to be still dealing with this residue from this full moon, dear love. And so remember to have compassion. When you go to work, try not to get upset. Try not to argue. Try not to fight. You know, with every being in you, dear love, but if your job is upsetting you that much that you feel like you need to withdraw, then dear love, do what makes you happy. Because you create your own reality. You are the creator of your day. You are the master of your day, okay, and of your life. So it is you who can bring happiness into your world. And you have to believe that, dear love. So I pray to the universe that you get an increase of faith, okay? 
And so I'm going to go, dear love, because I really didn't mean to talk so long. Um, and please have a great night or a great week, a great day, wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Have a wonderful night, okay? I love you guys. Okay, that was me blowing kisses to you because I believe three is a powerful number. And there you are, okay? Be good, my love. Bye.